Hey, game makers. When I see a mechanic in a game, I think, hmm, now how could I use this better? Instead of just having this feature exist, can I use it to enhance my game somehow? Can I use it to develop the story or characters, instead of it just being there because features? An example I like is dual packs. You could just learn them by level up and have a generic spell be cast. Or you could learn them as a means of character development and have the skill actually reflect that. But today we're not talking about dual techs because dual techs are a pain in the butt. Today we're doing tent scenes. If you've seen my most recent tips and tricks video, I go over how to make a simple tent item. Today, we're going to go over how to make a simple tent item better as a means to let our player interact with the party on a more regular basis. Don't you love those old school RPGs that give you like 15 characters that never seem to talk outside of the save the world plot? Yeah. How these tents work is, you'll use one, either at a save point or a world map, and it'll bring you to a tent map where you're able to talk to your party members. And this is super easy to do. As this is basically the same tent item set up as seen in Tips and Tricks, I'll point you over there if you haven't seen it. Short version, make tent item, have it called the common event, and you're good. Our actual common event is going to be a little different for this one though. First, we'll use a conditional branch to check if we're on the world map. Just turn the switch on anytime you're on a world map or at a save point, and you're good. I'm also using the MBS map zoom plugin to make a pretty little zoomy effect. I'll link this in the description. To use it, just put in the plugin command map zoom set and the amount of zoom you want, then duration and how many frames you want it to take. Though you don't have to use this at all, I just thought it was cool. Next, we're going to fade out the screen, turn our followers off, disable menu access. This is just to prevent the player from changing formation and other minor annoying things during the tent scene. Now, we'll need to set up three variables. One, player X, set to the map X of the player. Player Y, set to the map Y of the player. And map ID, set to the map ID. Now, we're going to recover all of the team. We want to do this before we go into our tent scene, in case our party is like full of poison and accidentally dies, because that would suck! True story! Transfer the player to our tent map. Quick note here, we're setting this up to change our graphic to our quote unquote main character, because otherwise that would be a lot of extra dialogue to write. However, if you would like to have the character's dialogue dependent on who's the party leader, you'd likely need a variable, let's say party actor, set to the actor ID of the party member number one. Then use conditional branches to check what that number is, and turn on a specific switch for that character. The actual party member event would look something like this, where if the switch this specific character is the leader, it will just show a blank page. Otherwise, there'll be a clickable NPC. Then again, we'll talk to you via variables and conditional branches, depending on who your party leader is. But we're doing it the easy way for this example. So after we've changed our player to the hero, we just need to fade the screen in. Now to set up our tent party members. In the event under conditions, we'll need to check actor and then select a character. With this set, if that specific character is in the party, this event will show up, which is awesome. Now what makes these tents great is for one, giving the player a reward for actually using them. And two, you can update your character's dialogue at any point throughout your game. Just create a new page on your character and in addition to the actor conditions, set another condition based on variable, say a plot variable. So every time you complete a plot point, our characters can have something new to say about it. This gives the players who are super interested in the world and characters a chance to hear more about it, but it's not in your face about it and is totally optional. Now just create an event like this for all of your potential party members, and remember to actually update them, and you're good. The last thing we wanna do is actually have a way to get out of this stupid tent. We just have the beds clickable, but you can really do it however you want. This event's just like, go to bed, yes, no, fade the screen, play the sleepy music effects, reset our followers to on, wait a few frames for the music to stop, and transfer back to our previous location, with transfer player selected on designation variables, and making sure they're set to ID as our map ID variable, X as our player X variable, and Y as our player Y variable. Then just fade the screen in and re-enable menu access, and we're done! If you're at all like me and just love writing character dialogue, this is a great outlet, and an awesome way to make your players fall in love with your characters. Or, you know, you could just, like, throw tents at the monsters or something. I was planning on doing one last character interaction video, but sadly I'm lacking the plugins I need at the moment, so that'll come eventually. What could our next tutorial be, I wonder? 
Until next time, see you later, gamers!